Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Eric. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Before we get into today's video, I just want to take a second to thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel. Hopefully it's been very entertaining and informative. That's my goal here. The reason why I'm starting this video this way is because I wanted to let you guys know that I launched my own website and I'll be selling some merch on there as well. So if you check out this link right here, I'll have it also in the comments below. I really, really would appreciate it. On to today's video. So you want to track your Evo. Excellent choice. Today's video I'm going to show you guys some things you can do to prep your car and also some things you might want to bring to your first track day. When doing your first track day or any track day for that matter, it's always a good practice to make sure that your fluids are fresh and also topped off. I also recommend making sure everything is mechanically sound. You know, all your stuff's tightened down, uh, everything's working as it should. Nothing weird, no funky things with the tune. The last thing you want to be doing on a track day is spending precious time in the paddock trying to fix your car when you could be out on the track getting seat time. It's not a bad idea to have a dedicated track tire. You don't have to, you can always use your dailies, but you want something that has a decent tread wear on it. You can do your research on the forums or your local uh, autocross groups or track groups and see what guys are running. But I definitely would recommend this. Something that kind of goes hand in hand with tires is brake pads. Make sure you have a decent set of track pads. It will greatly benefit you. So what kind of tools should I bring? Think about when you're working in the garage. What do you usually use the most when you're in there? You know, like a 10 millimeter wrench, socket, uh, 14 millimeter, um, 17. You know, what's pretty typical on the Evos, I would take those to the track with you because uh, you may need them, you never know. Some other tools you're going to want to take with you, torque wrench. You're going to be tightening down your lug nuts, making sure that they're tight because you definitely don't want your wheels falling off. Another thing that will make it easier for you uh, when you have to fix stuff and make it quicker is an impact gun. I also recommend bringing a jack and jack stands because if you got to do any work in the paddock on your car and it's underneath the vehicle, those things are going to come in handy for sure. Tire pressure gauge is probably my favorite tool to have at the track. It allows you to dial in your PSI on your tires so that way you can get more grip. What on earth is that? This right here is another great tool to have at the track. You can spray down your intercooler or spray down your tires uh, after a couple of laps or a couple of sessions uh, just to keep everything cool. Most tracks are probably going to require you to have some sort of fire extinguisher handy. With these things, you never know when you're going to need it, but you definitely want it and not have it. What kind of fluids are you going to need to bring to the track? I'd recommend bringing some brake fluid with you to the track just in case you need to bleed the vehicle or uh, you need to top it off. Another fluid that's going to be important to bring to the track is motor oil. Definitely want to have this with you. Fuel is another thing that you're going to want to bring to the track because not all tracks have pumps at the actual site. Uh, you might have to go outside of their venue to get some gasoline. Um, and especially if you're tuned on specialty stuff like E85, you're going to want to have that stuff because it's not likely they'll have it around. I usually go with about three of these jugs and that's usually good for a track day. Let's talk about safety gear. What are you going to need at the track? What do they recommend? Most sanctioned racing will probably recommend that you not wear any open toe shoes like sandals, flip flops. I'd recommend getting yourself a helmet because you can rent them out at some tracks but why would you want to share with somebody else? It's just best to have your own. Some sort of neck restraint would be a good idea to get. Not all track days require it, but either a Hans device or a donut would probably work. Another item that I'd recommend, gloves. Not all racing requires it, but they are to protect your hands in case of a fire. And uh, they help you with grip, so why not use them? Man, that's a lot of stuff to take to the track on your first time going. I know it is, and the rest of the stuff I'm about to mention is totally optional, but highly recommended. Food and water is a huge thing at the track. I can't emphasize enough on water especially because you want to stay hydrated while you're out there. Track temps get super hot and it's just a bad combination if you don't have any water out there. Food, you could always pack some snacks like nuts or a protein bar. I mean, sometimes at the track they do have little food stands or uh, food trucks where you can buy stuff, but that stuff can get pricey. 
So pack something, pack something light. A cooler would be a handy thing to have. You get some ice, put it in there, and store all your snacks and your water in there. Be sure to pack some sunscreen, guys. If not, you're gonna regret it. One of these might be another good investment as well. These items are gonna be super handy. You may have a lunch break or a time between each session. So a chair and then also an easy up tent would be a good thing to have. Uh, not all paddocks have any shade, so it can get super hot out there. And these items will make it a little bit more relaxing. Well guys, I think that covers pretty much everything. If you like this video, smash that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please do so. Till next time.